there's a good chance you could double or triple your conversion rate instantly just by using what we call lead nurturing. And a simple follow-up email could be enough to drastically increase your conversion rates. So let's talk about lead nurturing, what it all entails, and how to set it up for your business. If you remember from previous episodes, there was a study that was conducted where they found that the likelihood of a lead turning into an actual sale drops by 391% if that lead isn't followed up with in the first minute after they become a lead. I mean, it makes sense. If someone's interested in what you have to offer and they go on your website, they fill out a form, they're not just gonna then sit there and wait around all day for you to get back to them. They're gonna start looking at some other options and if they choose to work with one of your competitors, then you pretty much lost that lead. So to prevent that from happening, we're gonna show you how to set up automated email follow-up that will help engage the new leads that come through your website so that you can convert them into sales. All right, let's get into it. Now there are a lot of different options when it comes to sending automated follow-up emails, but two of the most popular, affordable, and effective platforms to use would be MailChimp and ActiveCampaign. Keep in mind that you might need to invest 10 or $15 a month to use these platforms effectively, but even if it helps you close a few extra deals each month, I'm sure that's worth the investment. So just go ahead and get registered with one of those email providers. Then there's one other handy tool that will make this setup process easier in most cases and often free as well. And the tool is called Zapier. And we've talked about this in uh, past episodes, but just as a refresher, this tool is going to allow you to pull data from a source like your website and move that data to a new location like your email follow-up campaign through MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or some other email provider. So go ahead and get your Zapier account set up as well. If you don't already have that, it's pretty straightforward and Zapier can help you with getting set up. And also keep in mind that we do have a system that can handle all of this for you, which you can learn more about by going to appointmently.io. But if you want to do this yourself, let me just show you how to effectively set up a follow-up email process. Okay, so we have the demo site pulled up here. And what we're wanting to do is make it so that when somebody fills out this form or other forms on the website, that then they get sent an automated email to help nurture the lead and get them on a phone call or basically help them get through the sales process. So to do that, there's a couple of different ways to connect the contact forms with your email provider, whether you decided to go with MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, or some other provider. For instance, in this website, we're using what's called Caldera Forms. So if we come over to the back end of the website here, we can see there's Caldera Forms here. And if we click Add-ons, we can see there's all these different add-ons, which are basically just other plugins that you can purchase. And there's one here for Zapier. And when you click on it, you can see that you can purchase it for $39. So if you wanted to connect Caldera Forms to ActiveCampaign or MailChimp, all you'd need to do is purchase this plugin for $39, add it into the website, and then you would be able to integrate with each of these contact forms. Now I'm not going to go through that whole process because it's slightly different for each different provider, but ultimately you can use that connection to then send the information wherever you'd like. You also notice that they have direct connections, so if you wanted to just connect directly with MailChimp, you can buy this add-on, and if you want to connect directly with ActiveCampaign, you can buy this add-on here. And that's going to be pretty consistent with pretty much any contact form. They're going to allow you to purchase add-ons to connect with various different providers. So if for whatever reason the provider that you're working with doesn't allow a connection with, say, ActiveCampaign, then Zapier is going to be a really great option because you can use it to then send the data to any provider that you wish. But if they do have a direct connection, that's probably going to be easiest. 
So once you actually have your contact form connected with your email provider, then you can go ahead and set up your automated email follow-up campaign. So for instance, if you are wanting to use MailChimp, then all you'd need to do is come over to Automations, click Email, and then you want to choose uh, Welcome the New Subscriber. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to send an email when somebody is added to a list. So then you can select the audience, and then it's going to basically walk you step by step through the process of actually setting up this email. So you have who it's being sent to, and we put in uh, a list here, which is basically an audience of people. So when somebody gets added to that list or that audience, then they'll automatically get this email and any subsequent emails that we set up in this automation flow. And that can be edited at any point in time here. You can also edit the delay. So if you want it to wait five minutes or whatever, I would recommend sending it right away. Uh, but you can set delays for for the subsequent emails. So if, you, if they get the first email right away, then they would potentially get the second email at the same time in the next day and so on. And then you can edit the from name and subject. And then when you go to edit the content, this is where you can actually draft the email that you want to send to people right off the bat. Now there are templates that you can use, and I'm not going to go super into depth about actually setting this up. But essentially all you want to do is craft a nice email that helps lead people through your sales process. So if they just became a lead, most likely the next step in the process is to get them on a phone call with you. And that's what you're looking to do in this email. So you might say, hey, thanks so much for reaching out. Really appreciate it. We're here to help. Let us, uh, let's set up a time when we can connect. What does your schedule look like over the next couple of days or something to that effect? And then they're going to respond with their availability and then you can set up a time to connect. The benefit of that is that they're not having to wait to get this, the conversation started until you have time to follow up with them. They're getting this automated email so they can start being in a conversation with you right off the bat. And then you can save and continue. And then once you're done, you just click start sending. And then you'll see a message like this that says rock on, you've started an automation, create another or go back to the campaigns. So once you've set that up, you can then set up subsequent follow-up emails. Just keep in mind that MailChimp does limit how many automated emails you can set up on the free account. So you might need to upgrade to one of the paid accounts in order to set up a more lengthy automated email follow-up process. And that's pretty much it. So all you'll need to do is connect your contact form with whatever email provider you're using. There may be a direct connection that you can use through an add-on that you can purchase. If not, you might need to use Zapier to make the connection. But either way, it's just a matter of taking the, the person's contact information once they become a lead and shuffling it off to whatever email platform you want to use, whether it's MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, etc., and then send them a nice automated follow-up email right off the bat to try to move them through the sales cycle, which most likely is going to be getting on a phone call and talking to you about the solutions that you can provide to them. Hey, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of this episode. I hope that you got a lot of value out of it. If you did enjoy this episode, then make sure to tune in to the next episode or we're gonna show you how to set up video sales calls with your leads so that you can actually have somewhat of a face-to-face -face conversation with them, which will just ultimately lead to you closing more sales. All right, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.